This place is seriously mind blowing. Playing with kisses. kisses. Ooh, yeah, buddy. Ooh. So we're gonna show you guys the three most amazing sanctuaries in the world. So check it out. On our way back from Cape Town, we stopped and played. First stop is the Elephant Sanctuary. Guys, we're driving back from Cape Town at the moment, and as you know, my freaking wildest dream came true, and we got two engines in the back of the bus. I'll show you what it looks like. Everything's loaded up. Engines in there, sail drive at the bottom there. But there's one person that's always been with me and freaking part of this whole journey, and that's my wife. And one thing, one of her big dreams is to see an elephant, so that's exactly where we are. On the way back from Cape Town to PE, there's an elephant sanctuary park. So we stopped here. I'm gonna get someone to touch an elephant, hopefully, if, if the elephants come. Apparently they roam free, so we're gonna see if we can get her to touch an elephant. How are you feeling? So excited. Are you excited to see the elephants? I see them down there in the Okavango Delta. Where's the Okavango Delta? In Botswana. Oh, good. Your geography isn't as bad as your English. I got to hold hands, wait, trunk in hand with Jabu, and Ricky got to meet Tandi. Tandi was a gentle giant. All she wanted to do was find hidden snacks in our pockets. There's a lot of controversy involving the elephant sanctuaries around the world, so we took it upon ourselves to learn the tell signs of a happy elephant. Like humans, it's all in the body language. If the elephant approached you with its tail swishing and lazy half-closed eyes, it was a good indication of a happy and relaxed elephant, as well as their weight and overall condition of their skin. Oh, no. They're pretty eyes. They're like hazel. Hey, Dunk hazel. Dunky. Dunky. Oh. Well done. Good girl. That's it. Dunky hazel. I don't have anything. Finished. Oh, 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 I'm probably just so as cool. excited. It's, it's freaking so cool. cool. We're gonna go feed them now. Apparently they must get their vitamins. How are you feeling? I'm excited. It's so cool. It's so, so cool. The job of place it here. Marula on the side. Tandy. Doesn't matter. Whatever you want. Give it one at a time. Turn around now. He's <laughs> just charming. I'm so cute. He's like, oh, oh. 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 A quick recap guys, those <laughs> those are elephants are rescue elephants and that's why they're in the sanctuary park for rehabilitation and stuff. Check out some monkeys, here's monkey. the biggest one. Monkeys and birds. Second stop was monkey land where we got to see a variety of monkeys and lemurs. Ricky and I couldn't get enough of the baby lemur, it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. So we just need to add a pina colada in his 
to that guy. <laughs> in his other hand, and he's rocking it. He's holding his umbrella. After the lemurs, we saw a lot of capuchin monkeys. And we saw Mr. Taurus. Taking a walk. Check out this guy. <laughs> Just monkeys all over the place. Who is that? It's insane. It's just dense forest. Bush everywhere. Yeah. The vervet monkeys were feeling very playful. Third stop was Birds of Eden. That's a Shongololo, in case people didn't know. <laughs> this is gonna blow your mind. We're at the uh, bird uh, sanctuary. This is like Jurassic Park, check out this. It even sounds like Jurassic Park. That is freaking insane. It's so beautiful. It's so cool. And there's, I don't know what, I don't How think cool it's a can. It's cool to me else. By the way, all the parks that we've been to are all sanctuaries and it's not like they're kept in there out of thing. A lot of them have been rehabilitated and can't be oh, let really? go back into the wild or they're not native to South Africa. So, freaking awesome parks. If you guys are in South Africa, or even South Africans, check these parks out, they're amazing. We'll leave a link in the description below. Hello. So beautiful. This place is seriously mind-blowing. Seriously mind-blowing, and we just got you. Pokemon, that's a po Pokemon bird. That's a Jurassic Gold Park bird. Golden pheasant. That is a Jurassic Park bird. Hi mom. <laughs> <laughs> Not even much of a bird person. I mean obviously the pretty ones are amazing, but this place is just unreal. Simone loves all the animals. That's like he could be a freaking deadly snake and she probably likes him too. She doesn't want anything to die. Not even the ants. They must all live. <laughs> I can't find that dolly dog. How insane is this place? It's freaking cool. It's, so cool. it's just next level. I wasn't expecting that. Six flags. This <laughs> is the misters. It sounds like we're about to get attacked. The raptors are gonna come. <laughs> Pluck them out. Hey, stop plucking your feathers, buddy. You make it now. Hello, buddy. Hello, buddy. <laughs> There's little daker. That's like a really small antelope in South Africa. Let me show you, see if I can get a video of them. American hardy does. Hello. They're a lot cooler than our hardy does. Even see some birds flying and landing on people. It's insane. People are walking around with birds on their shoulders. Get closer to. Them. They don't want to bite me. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
We also saw a blue crane, which is South Africa's national bird. We finally also got a birdie that landed on us. <laughs> I won't bite my eyeballs. <laughs> what do I do with him? Do Buddy, please don't bite me. He's not. He's not doing anything. Do you want to take him? <laughs> He's got a beak on him. So Ricky made a new friend. <laughs> They see me rolling. Jaden. You're gonna charge them Uber fees. Uber fees for sure. Here's your card. <laughs> Look, he's playing with kisses. Kisses. Ooh, Ooh, yeah, buddy. Someone breaking and entering. Don't uh, break and entering. Uh, hey, buddy. Is that where they store the food? <laughs> Must be. Someone trying to convince the dude to get on the shoulder. He's like, nah, I don't swing like that. Another thing for this, for the bird park, you guys got to do it twice. So get all the way there and then do it in reverse. When you come back, you I see, and then go again. You see things that you never saw the first time. It's amazing. This place is unreal. Put it on your bucket list. If you guys love birds, you'll be blown away. If you don't love birds, you'll think this is amazing anyways. And if you love engineering, the structure that they built to enclose this place is freaking insane. So, it's a win-win all way around. You should not come here if you're an ornithobia. Though. What's that? A ornithobia. What's that? It's a fear of birds. Ornithobia. Yeah. Even if you have ornithobia, this will put you over ornithobia. Don't listen to me though. These ducks couldn't be bothered. They're just all in the road. They're like, you guys, just get past us. He's snoozing already. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, look at all of them. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button below if you haven't already. If you would like to support our production, you can do so by clicking on any of the links in the description below. Have an awesome week ahead guys and keep on rocking!